What's going on guys? This is DexterDog1 and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. Now I realize that um that when I did my Redstone for Beginners tutorial, um I found that there are so many videos on that, it was just kind of dumb to do it. So I thought I'd do something different and I would I'm gonna pick an item that has to do with redstone any item and I'll talk about it and explain what it can do I'll build a machine that um, demonstrates what it can do and yeah so let's get started oh one second can't lag alright um so today we're gonna do dispensers and yay woohoo dispensers Yay! Alright. So, this is how you craft it. One second. Yeah, I tried recording this earlier, but... Um... I got interrupted right in the middle with a phone call. So, um, I'm trying it again. So, I'm seven... And, um... So... This is how you craft a dispenser. Let's try this again. So you put seven wool around the edge like that. You put a redstone here and a bow there, and you get a dispenser. Don't do that because that's a dropper. We want a dispenser because the day is dispenser. So there's your dispenser. You just take that, and that's how you craft one. Now here's everything it can do. I have it all set up of everything it dispenses and um the main thing it dispenses is items so as you can see I put a stack of stone in the dispenser and every time I stand on the pressure plate or give it a redstone current it'll dispense the stone so it's just here so um the next thing it can do is it'll dispense water so if you put a water bucket in here and you stand on the pressure plate it'll dispense the water and if you stand on the pressure plate again it'll suck the water back up and here's lava don't go near it don't fall in so you stand on the pressure plate and um... dispenses the lava and when you do that it's an empty bucket but when it vacuums the lava back up it's a full bucket so it's full empty let's just get rid of this stuff and slash game mode zero there we go minecart there we go so yeah if you put a minecart in it um here let me just show you because I didn't really alright so if you put mine like minecart track right there you put a minecart dispense a minecart dispenses a minecart on the track so that's pretty helpful if you have a mine or something now this is probably a pretty useful one it can dispense mobs so if you put the spawn egg so spawn pig you put it in there you stand on the pressure plate it'll dispense a pig and yeah die piggy alright and let's see if you put arrows in it um this is also pretty helpful if you're doing a mob trap put arrows in it you apply the current it dispenses an arrow so every time you apply a current it dispenses one arrow and that block there is just so the arrows don't go out in the middle of nowhere so this one's pretty fun for adventure maps if you put TNT in there you stand on the pressure plate, it'll dispense lit TNT. And the water's just there because I don't want it. Ow, that hurt. And the water is there because I just don't want it exploding all my dispenser stuff. So, let's just try this again. Let's just dispense two of them. And that's pretty fun if you put like a whole stack of TNT in and hook it up to like a current and it just spawns TNT and makes a huge hole in the ground. It's really good for mining. So the next one is a boat. So if you put a dispenser next to a boat, or if you put a dispenser next to water with a boat in it, you apply the current. Oops. You apply the current. 
it'll dispense a bow. So that's helpful if you live by a lake or something. This one's pretty fun. So if you put gas balls or fire charges in them, those are what gas shoot at you. And you apply current. It oh yeah, bullseye. Woohoo! It'll dispense a gas ball. So yeah, let's just quick put this out. Yeah. Yeah. Close enough. Alright, now this one's pretty fun. If you put potions in here, um, like splash potions, it needs to be a splash potion. And you right click on the lever, it'll dispense the potions on you. So as you can see, I have poison and weakness. And, dang, I need milk. Um, next one is if you put flint and steel in there and you apply a current. It'll light the block in front of the dispenser on fire. So that's on fire, and every time you do that, the flint and steel loses a little bit of health. Dang, how long is this poison? Alright, no more poison. Alright, um, yeah, so as this burns my beautiful statue of me, I just. Uh. Oops. Yeah. No, it doesn't really look like me. No, it doesn't. I don't think it looks like me, but you know, that sucks. So this is, um, so here's, like, I'll demonstrate what I can do with dispensers now. So, um, this, I like to call it like a super mob spawner. So what it's going to do is it's going to spawn 20 zombies, and it'll give them all these potions, and release them. So these zombies are going to have speed, regeneration, fire resistance, and strength. So that'd be pretty scary. Um, let's just see real quick. So this first lever, you pull it and it lights off the thing and spawns 20 zombies. Alright? Now the next one, this lever, will dispense the potions on them. So now those zombies are all high on potions. Then this lever is going to release them, so let's get ready to fight them. And because they have fire resistance, they're not burning. This looks pretty f- ow, they do a lot of damage with that strength. Oh my gosh, see, this is hard. And um, so yeah, this looks really funny if you put the invisibility- dang, those things are good. And it picked up my diamond sword. So, yeah, um, that's today's episode, all about dispensers. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll be doing, I'll picking another item tomorrow to review. Not tomorrow, sometime. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, please give it a like, subscribe, <coughs> if you'd like to. And, yeah, thanks for watching.